Hi, it's Tantal here, and today I'm going to go through how to memorize your 100 number peg words. So let's go. Now, what are 100 number peg words, you ask? Well, for those that don't know, what you can do in order to memorize numbers, but also more importantly for memory training, is convert numbers into letters, and by combining the letters together, you can create a word. Now, the benefit of that is once you have a word, you can connect words together to create a story, and that's how we memorize. But most of you clicking on this video will already know that, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to memorize these peg words, because that's the issue that a lot of you have, is how do you memorize it? So let's get straight into it. I've got my peg words written on here. Let's say I wanna be able to um, memorize 72 and 81, right? Uh, in order to memorize the seven, I have to go, oh yeah, that's a cut sound. Uh, two is an N sound, so I might have the word can, right? Uh, or I might have gun, which seven is a G as well, right? I might have gun in there too. Um, that one could be, you know, a V or F, so I can have V, that could be a T or D, so I can have like a video, right? Uh, or I can have fat, <laughs> right? the good fat uh, in food. So I can have that, right? These are converted to create an image, but how do you memorize them, right? So that's what we wanna look at. We wanna look at memorizing these numbers. Now I'm just gonna rub these off and show you a really good, cool method on how to do that. So in order to memorize your peg words, the number one thing to do is to use your memory palace or locations, you know, method of loci, journey system, whatever you want to call it, right? That's what we want to be able to do. So, uh, let's say your first location, uh, I'm just going to go through my one, okay? My locations, because everyone's location is different. So my first location, uh, I'm going to say is my front fence, right? Second location is my driveway. Third location is my door, and so on, right? And I want to do, uh, well, obviously, if you've got 100 peg words, or 100 of them, right? But we'll go through a little bit of a, a hack later on as well to halve that. And I think you probably know what that is. So let's get going. So now, fence, I want to connect that to my first image, right? So zero, zero is going to be my first image, not zero, one, right? So for that, Remember, zero is an S or Z in a major system, so I'll have the major system up um, on my screen so you can refer to that as well. And if you already know it, don't worry about it. So that's zero, zero, that's going to be zero, one, and that's going to be zero, two, and so on, all the way to 99, right? So, if I have my front fence zero, zero, my first image for zero, uh, for zero, zero, is source, like tomato sauce. Right, because that's an S and that's an S sound. Remember, major system is a phonetic system. It's a sound alike. So it's not exactly the letter, it's what the letter sounds like. So I've got source here. So I'm gonna put source. Remember, C is also there as well. It's not just S or Z. Right, so I've got now, I have to make a story with fence and source. Right, so what do I do? I've got maybe someone smeared tomato sauce all over my fence, right? Um, pretty horrid act, but imagine someone went up to your fence and did that. You know, how terrible might it look, right? So source and fence. Then the next one, I've got zero and one. For me, it's a seat, right? So S and a one is a T. So I'll connect seat and driveway, right? So maybe someone put a massive seat on my driveway and I can't get through and park my car. Or even better, because if you interact these two things together, it becomes more memorable. So maybe I drove through the seat as I was driving my car and I, you know, crashed into this seat, right? That's a lot better and maybe it damaged my car, <laughs> right? So that's it. And then zero two for me is sun. So that's an S and that's an N, right? So the sun is, is glaring, it's really, really bright and maybe it starts burning down my door. The sun actually came down and is burning through my door, right? and I've connected those two together. And then essentially what you do is you go one by one up to 99 and make up those stories, right? Then what you gotta know is you gotta go, okay, what was uh, happening in the driveway? What was happening at the door? And so on, and then recall those digits. That's pretty much it. 
Because the, the more you do this, the quicker you'll get to remembering your peg words. Now, what are the biggest challenges of remembering peg words? Right? The biggest challenge for anyone is essentially recalling those numbers very, very quickly. Right? So if you're entering competition or if you would just want to train and you want to get these numbers really, really quickly, right? you, you want to get those numbers fast so you can get to the next image very quick. So what do you do? Right? What I do in my training is that if I'm learning new peg words and I can't remember what was happening in a location, right? Um, I go back and I mark these ones. So I might get that one wrong, that one wrong, or just not remember, right? And then what I do is I go back and look at all the ones that I've forgotten or the ones that I haven't able to remember in time. And then I go back and I make the story even bigger and brighter and better. Right? So someone put the seat in my driveway. Maybe that's not memorable enough. What does the seat look like? You know, did it have wheels? Uh, was it a, a drummer seat? <laughs> I mean, being a musician, I, I often used to carry a lot of these drummer seats. Bloody drummers. Um, so, you know, try and make it more memorable. And as you make up the story, what happens is that eventually you start ticking some of these off as well until you, every single one of these are correctly memorized and recalled. Right, so give that a go, memorize onto your locations. Now, the other method you could use as well is if you don't want 100 locations on there, is you can have two of these on one location. So you can have, right, source plus the zero one, right, which is seat. So now, if I could spell seat, so now you've got a front fence, someone put source on it, um, you know, maybe you sat down and just watched the action, <laughs> right? So you could do a, a lot of that stuff, right? And now you've got 50 locations instead of 100. So give that a go. If there's any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.